Hi there, my name is Axiom, and in this video we're going to be looking at the module Conversation HUD. Okay, this is a module that's been on my radar for a little while, but only recently in my streaming setup did Monk's common display get updated to allow this module to work over the top. And now that it has, I've implemented this into my game. Basically what you gain is you get a little extra section on the side of your screen here. And if you've set up any conversations, you can use a little eyeball to bring the conversation HUD up. This shows it to you and all your players. You can then pick the NPC that is actually going to be talking at the moment and use their token or some other piece of artwork for that actual character to have them on screen when you're talking. You can also set up factions. So in this case, I have set up a uh, Vol faction and some of the clans, etc. So they have all of that link information linked and connected to them. You can also, if you wish, add an extra little linked note journal. Uh, you can add in information in for your players as well if needed. When you first load into a world where the module is installed, you can go and find it under the journals and notes section here and go to activate conversation HUD. As this is your first time, it will be blank and you can start dragging and dropping tokens into this for people that will be in the scene that you're going to need. You can then hit start conversation and their tokens are brought through. The way I have dealt with this is a little bit more in depth. When you create these conversations and save them, they end up in the journals tab. And if you see in here, I can actually go and look at one of these conversations that I've created. There's a new sheet type and you can add and save to this as you like. So you can build these up on a per scene basis if needed. So the way I've done this is I've created one main cast page with everybody in it. And then what I'll do later is I will break that out to on a per scene if I need to. So when you've dragged and dropped characters onto this sheet, you can then go to the edit of the actual participant. And in here I can change the portrait. So I've gone in and used a different piece of artwork for these particular NPCs. And then I'm saving that participant. I'm also going into the faction config here and I'm creating a faction and load, giving it a name. And in this case, I'm giving it a symbol, but you could actually give them a banner and a different color if need be. So there's different ways of playing this if you want to, but this is how it's working for me. So once your participant is all set up, you can then hit edit participant and save, and then they're added to the list. All the participants are here and in the list. And what you can do is if you're on the sheet here, you can go to activate the conversation and it will appear on your sidebar. You can then bring it out, bring them out as you need and start talking as the characters. You can scroll down, find the one that you need. Obviously, if you make a journal per scene, then obviously this list can be smaller and more specific for that particular scene. There is one extra thing that you can do. You can come up to a pages config page. So if we go over to this one and go to configure, we can go to our ambient section here and we can see we can actually select a scene conversation and have it load as the page loads. So that's how you can do your on per scene basis uh, character sheets. I'm finding this useful as I'm not the best with the voices to have a, the correct picture up for the character when they're in play. And I think it does actually help me along. It takes a little bit of setup, but I think it's worth it. I hope this has been useful, but please like and subscribe for more content.